What is going on, guys? This is Bronco Juggalo. And Bill. And today we are wrapping up the Tremors franchise with Tremors Shrieker Island from 2020. We're finally at the end so far. Yeah. They could do more. Who knows? They did do a pilot for another series actually starring Kevin Bacon. He oh, did but one yeah, pilot yeah. episode, but I don't know if it ever got aired or not. I've never seen it. So, uh, guys, this is directed by the same guy that did the last two movies, Don Michael Paul. It, of course, stars Michael Gross as Burt Gomer. Uh, Jamie Kennedy didn't make this one. I don't know why, but he didn't. Oh, no. But this movie also stars Richard Brake as our kinda-ish villain. I mean, he's not actually a bad guy, but he's kind of a greedy bastard and... Oh, 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 okay, so he's like, uh, the CEO for RoboCop. Yeah, kind of. That guy was kind of a bad guy, though. I mean, he killed people, just for the fun of it. The CEO for RoboCop? Um, Dick Jones? No, that was a... No. He, he was the CEO, and then there was the guy above him, the old guy, right, the president. Oh, yeah, the president. Okay. Or, I don't know. Maybe well, Maybe you're thinking of the... I don't know. I don't know. Why. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. It doesn't fucking matter. Anyways, in this movie, uh, this rich guy, played by Richard Brake, I can't remember his name right now, he has his own island, and he owns his own company, and he owns a biotech company or something like that, and they have cloned Graboids, or, you know, whatever. They fucking put Graboids on this island. Not only do they put graboids on the island, they enhanced them. For and hunting. made them bigger, made them stronger, made them more angry, more aggressive. To do private hunts, uh, you know, and he would lead people on private hunts. For other rich for millions people. millions of dollars, you know. And honestly, that's the stupidest fucking thing I've heard since Jurassic Park. No, actually, Jurassic Park is a good idea. You could make a really? lot of money doing that. I got, I really? I got five movies that say otherwise. I know, but still, I would love to see it. It's not a good idea. It's a good idea. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. There are five movies to the contrary of what can happen when, it, when shit goes wrong. I didn't see anything go wrong. It just was Darwinism taking its course. No. What is the matter with this? No. There's no such thing as Darwinism. Darwin was a crackpot. Oh, yes. <laughs> as many of us are. Anyways, pros and cons time, guys. Cons for me in this film. There are some CGI shots. I didn't think they were as good as some of the, you know, non-CGI shots. That always happens, And I'm not though. talking about the creature. The creature looked really good. The creature, even the CGI creatures look good. There's some CGI environment shots I thought were a little miffy. I know. CGI, wonky. It always is. It's hardly ever a point in any movie where CGI is used and it's not wonky at some point. Well, I think it just depends. A lot of movies, I think, do it perfect these days. Like, I mean, you got Star Wars movies. They're pretty much on point. I don't think I still a prefer my. Those. I still prefer my practical effects. You can't do practical effects with Star Wars anymore, though. Not with the stuff they're trying to do. No, I know that. I, much... I didn't say Star Wars. You're the only one who's bringing up Star Wars. Well, right I'm talking now. about a lot of films, like Lord of the Rings, see, uh, The Hobbit. None of those movies could be done without CGI. Well, I know. At least not as good as they were. Oh. Anyway, just time. Ugh. Okay, okay. I got one big con for this film. Is like, when did Predator come into this? I swear to God, it is like Tremors meets Predator. We're in the jungle. We got the typical, you know, different types of people there. One's got a fucking minigun. And then we've got the Predator actual sound effects and the the um the heat vision the heat vision video, whatever why from the Shriekers yeah the Shriekers didn't they had heat vision but it wasn't the Predator heat vision it was just that kind of bugged me Tremors meets Predator the fact that Jamie Kennedy wasn't in this movie I felt kind of yeah I kind of heard it over the last two films, we've gotten to know Jamie Kennedy's character, and we've come to like him. Yep. And for them to not have him in this one, and they just replace him with some nobody that nobody gives a shit about. Pretty much. You know, it was just like, yeah, just didn't... That didn't was very that. disappointing for this film. 
Don't know if he, what was going on with that. Uh, guess we could have looked that up, but don't really know. But then they gave this like lame backstory of him being in, in jail. He was in, in jail for smuggling drugs. Yeah, for smuggling magic mushrooms. Yeah. You know, some lame reason why he's not okay. the movie. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, we, I agree. We do get some more of Bert's backstory, which was kind of cool, but we'll get into that here in a minute. Yeah. Um, final con, guys, and big spoiler warning here. My final con, my biggest con, Bert dies. Bert I... dies in the movie. Uh, it was... Okay. I think why they did this was, you know... Uh, He's getting old. He wanted to go out with a bang, you know? Mm. So, it is a... Yeah, yeah, he dies, yeah, but... I kind of liked it because they sent him out with a little bit of style. Yeah. But, and to me, it just really kind of sucks. Uh, watching these now and never watched them before, I didn't really give them much of a chance before. Yeah. Bert's become kind of my favorite part of the whole franchise. And many people. And, There's Burt Gummer Day. Yeah, so I, I'm i sorry. I don't like that he's dead. He should have just went off somewhere. I don't know. That's just me. You're saying he should have rode off into the sunset, even though... How would you do this? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I, know, I know. You don't like it, but I thought that it was great. I, was right. I thought it was good the way they did it. It was cool it. the way they did. I just don't like the fact that it happened at all. I mean... It's like Luke Skywalker. I loved the way his death scene. It looked awesome. But I fucking hate that he's gone. Of course, the thing with Star Wars is nobody's ever actually gone. You know, they all come back in fucking ghost form. Yeah. So, Hopefully not Jar Jar Binks. You had to have the force to do it. Well, remember that robot chicken. Or the Honey, whole... he's all glowy! Or the, uh, <laughs> or be a uh, vision from, uh, from Kylo and be the, and be uh, Han Solo. Yeah. All right, all right. We need to get into pros for this film. For my first pro for this film, I did like the creature design. I loved the oh, enhanced, really good. yeah, the enhanced uh, graboid, the the shriekers. Oh, I thought the shriekers really looked good I in think, this one. I think five through seven is the best they've looked. I Man, also one, but five through seven they looked really good, CGI or not. Yeah. The one looked good, it was practical, and they did a really good job. They did. They used a lot of miniatures, which I didn't realize at the time they used miniatures until I was watching the a behind-the-scenes thing on it. It, is, it would be kind of hard to build something that big. Yeah. Yeah. My first pro is that, as I said, we get more of Bert's backstory. It unfolds yep. a little more. We get to meet the woman who sired uh, his son, who sired Jamie Kennedy's character. And she's the one that brings Bert into this movie. And I think that's kind of cool. And there's some cool chemistry between them and also tension between them. Half the oh, time yeah. he's basically telling her to go fuck herself. Yeah. And I love, I like that. I like the dynamic between the two. It was pretty cool. Okay, yeah, I do like that as well. Uh, my next pro for this film is when we finally get to see Bert for the first time. <laughs> Bert's crazy island. I just wanted to know where Wilson was. He's just on this island. Spoiler, he's on an island, isolated himself from everything. He's eating maggots and just plain old crazy. He's got this big ass beard and shit. He's just plain old batshit nuts. Mm. Living out on his own. I thought that was pretty cool too. And in fact, my favorite part of this movie, as always, is Michael Gross, Burt Gummer. Oh yeah. The way he acts, everything about him is just so much fun. And... All these movies, every single one, all the way from part one to part seven, are all kind of the same movie, if you really think about it. They all have basically the same plot. Oh, yeah. You know, especially from two to seven. Graboids come, they call Bert. Bert comes, kicks Graboids' ass, and yells at everybody for not taking it serious enough. Yes. Need to know information. And that's pretty much, uh, you know, what happens in every single movie. And so it's not too hard to write the scripts for these because they're all pretty much saying they just change the environment. But there's something about it yep. that works. It works. It's Michael Gross. Yeah, it's Michael Gross. It's Michael Gross that mm -hmm. works. I don't think this franchise would have gone as far as it has it without him. It wouldn't have passed three without him. 
I don't know. I don't know. Two, if... two still had the other guy too. Um, what's his name? Yeah. And uh, Fred Williams, or not Fred Williams. Um, I forgot his fucking name right now. But it still had him. Three was still had Bert. If it wasn't been for Burton three, we probably never would have gotten four or five or six. And then no. four came, but then there was like almost 15 years or so between, or 20 years between, you know. This is kind of five. one of those odd franchises that you, the installments are kind of mm -hmm. separated. But there is a good following. My next pro for this film, I loved all the battles with the Shriekers in the jungle and in the caves. And the new uh, sonic ability that they had to make, you know, pretty much your eardrums hurt when they screamed. Mm -hmm. Instead of just a cry to call the others, it was just this deafening scream that would actually incapacitate people. I, I thought the battle scenes with the Shriekers was very well done. The Graboids was good too, but I like the Shrieker ones the best. Yeah. You know, and getting into that, I really liked the gore and the yep. splatter effects in this movie. There was a lot more gore in this movie than there was in any of the others. Okay. I, you know, I'm pretty sure there was more gore in this one than any of the rest. And it was a lot of fun. It wasn't just the gore of the Graboids or the Shriekers getting blown up or whatever. Yep. It was human gore, too. So that's something that was kind of missing in some of the others. They had a little bit here and there. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't extreme or anything like that. I mean, this still isn't extreme. But they did more, and I enjoyed that. That's good. All right, well, I really don't have anything else we already touched on. He didn't like Bert's farewell. I kind of did. I loved it. I loved that, that he's just jumping and flipping off the nobody well, that, guy. It's cool the way he did it. I just don't like the fact that it had to happen. I, it was very cool. It was cool to watch, but... But it's a guy... I think Bert, you... Bert's the ultimate survivalist. He should always come out. Yeah, but can you see it any any other way but him having a violent death? I cannot see this guy dying in his bed. I, I really know. can't. I could see him going back to his island or going off with a girl or something. I just still can't see him, you know, dying in bed, so I'm glad they kind of gave him Maybe that. Maybe he won't die in bed, but I still think he could have he lasted through the movie. That's my That's, just my yeah, that's your opinion. Uh, guys, I really enjoyed this movie. It was fun. I loved all the horror movie references we got. Yes. You know, there was a lot of other movie references, other horror films, and that was pretty cool. Overall, this movie is fun, and overall, this franchise is a lot of fun. I did enjoy this movie quite a bit. I know some people have talked shit about it. I don't see why. It's a good movie. I enjoyed it. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, it's great. He never had seen... You'd only seen part one, right? When yeah, we started it was this? years ago. Many years ago. He didn't like it, and now, now you're older, genre. and you watch the whole thing, so mm -hmm. I'm going to ask, what are your thoughts now? Overall, I think the, tra the franchise is extremely fun. It okay. doesn't take itself too seriously. Which it shouldn't. No, it shouldn't. Um, I'm glad they didn't go with the name Land Sharks. I am glad of that. Oh, God, thank God. And uh, I overall really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to do our ranking video. From somebody that never wanted to see any of these movies past part one, he gave it a chance. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So I'm just going to say, hey, if you saw something long ago and you didn't like it, give it another shot. And you're older now, you might see it differently. Because you watched this, what, when you were... I don't know, 14, 15, maybe? Yeah. Young 13, kid. Somewhere in there. You know. We were, I think you and I watched it together, actually. I think we did. So. I think we did. But, yeah, you know... If you had something that you watched long ago when you were young that just absolutely hated it, hey, this is what I'm saying. Give it another shot. Unless it's Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. That's a great movie. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, or Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Yeah, Rob Zombie's Halloween. Yeah, yeah those you can skip on. They all suck skip, balls. Skip those except for Halloween 3. That's a good movie. They suck balls. That movie. That movie's awesome. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go eat now. This is Bronco Juggalo saying... Peace. And they'll say good night. Night Stalker, the Day Walker, Nosferatu, an angel's doctor, a feared monster. I've clearly conquered your ears, bonker and catch fades and reveal imposters. A weird observer, a near death experiment, a spike flogger, beta blocker. You